part of the Invic test, this is the methyl red test portion of it. This is testing for the ability of the bacteria to uh, ferment glucose and produce large amounts of acid. So we have two different tubes here. To each one I need to add five drops of the methyl red. So the first tube I have is the uh, Proteus vulgaris organism. We had nice growth after 24 hours, so these were inoculated yesterday. We add five drops of the methyl red. We will let this sit for a moment. And then to the other two, which is Enterobacter orogenes, we are adding five drops of methyl red to it as well. Sometimes you may have to add a few more drops to it. You may have to let it sit for a moment. Okay, this was the methyl red test after it's been sitting for about five minutes. As you can see, the tube, which is on your left, is a positive. You can see it has that redness to the top layer versus the tube on the right, which has remained yellow, which would be a negative. So red is positive, yet remaining yellow is a negative result. Okay, the next test that we're going to do is the VP Vox Prosca test. Usually the media is the same as the MR, so you need to remember whenever you inoculate, usually MR VP goes together, which means you need to have two tubes, one for the methyl red, one for the VP of Vox Prosca. For this one, we're going to add reagents. There are two different reagents, an A and a B. And so with these, there's a little glass tube in here. If you just push it, you can hear that it breaks it. And then you will add about 10 drops. Squeeze the two. That is the A. I'm going to go ahead. This is Enterobacter orogenes. The other tube is Proteus vulgaris. And I will add about 10 drops of the BPA reagent to that as well. Now you will add the reagent B. Once again, just kind of squeeze it. That will pop the glass ampule on the inside. Once again, about 10 drops. Add this to each one of the tubes. We are looking for a color change up on the top. If it turns red, it is positive. If it remains yellow, it is negative. And yes, sometimes we need to let these sit for a little bit longer for the reaction to take place. So we'll set those aside and look at them later.